Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do another Overwatch character and this time we're gonna draw D.Va. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this character. Um, okay, looking at this, is uh, she's kind of leaning, right? Uh, let's see, the good way to start it, probably just with the head. Just kind of rough in there. Just trying to get the placement. Alright, so I'm just gonna do a little, little head right here. And then I'm just go from there, I'm gonna go down. To her body now there's a slant here so it's important to get this slant right here okay that's a show her shoulder so let's say if this is her head we're gonna do with a shoulder we're gonna go back to her head um but i just want to try to rough in the other stuff first so his arm comes to her arm comes down this way kind of folds over like this okay and then we can do this one breast right here and then the other breast again see this slant right here that's why important to have, it's important to have this line, right? So obviously the breast would be symmetrical, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so uh, going down, let's see her other shoulder is right there, kind of behind. Can't really see that. All right, so let's let's rough in her, her body right here. And I hope you guys can see this because I, I know I'm sketching kind of light. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's do an arm. Her arm right here. Okay. So you see that? So there's one arm coming over. I'm just gonna draw these contour lines right here so that I can start so I can start feeling that this is going, you know, backwards, right? Going away from you. So these these contour lines are important. So and even like for her uh, wrist right here, the little glove, that serves as a very good contour line. So you kind of want to get that in so you can start feeling where the shape, you know, where the shape is going. Okay, so I'm going to adjust for this. Okay, and then let's see. So we go straight down. Uh, let's see, this pattern right here. We can actually use that, but all right, let me. Yeah, let's, let's use that. So this arcing line kind of comes over. Okay, and then the other meets up with the other line on this side. All right, so let's draw a little, a little, this is where her tummy is right here. And then this is gonna go straight down this way. So this is a little bit harder to draw. So let me draw this side first. I'm trying to visualize her hip. Okay, so it's important to get this hip area. So let's see, this line it comes out, you know, her buttocks, her hip area right here, but you can measure the angle right here. From this side, you can measure like this. It's kind of a, not vertical, right? It's kind of like a slant like that. So again, I'm just trying to get as much reference points and angles as much as possible. So this is gonna come straight down. Okay, this whole hip area and then her crotch area. We have to get that in because so that we can we know where the middle of her leg is, right? Like right here. So this little hip. Um, bone right here, all right, so this will be right here. This would be her hip bone right here. I wish I knew more about the anatomy, which is something I really want to learn, but let's just go by eye for now. So I don't, I can't give you the uh, terminologies. All right, so it's kind of like that. Let me see, I'm just checking. All right, so I think that's kind of close enough. Um, well, should we doing some patterns? All right, let's just, all right, let's just do this pattern. So it's kind of like a zigzag. It comes over. All right, so I'm judging. There's a crotch. One, two, and then this side. Let's measure this angle. So it's kind of, this one to this one slants up, and this one to this one also slants up a little bit. So I probably got it too low. Okay, so it's one two, crotch, that, okay? So that's how I measure, right? Like from this corner to that corner, it's going up. So we got, so we have to make sure we get that one. Okay, and then here, here, down to your hip. We can give her a smaller hip, make it a little bit more feminine. So I might have drawn it too wide. All right, so we can, let's, yeah, let's go back up. I don't want to spend too much time on the hip just in case this is wrong. <laughs> All right, so let's go. 
up shoulder uh let's see like the shoulder pads right here now again uh this obviously looks like a game model so it's very um a jaggedy because it's you know they're basically polygons so they're not too uh, they're not too dense in geometry i don't know if you guys are too familiar with 3d stuff but you know, there's a certain poly count, like the amount of polygons they can use for these characters because they can't make it too dense, right? Anyhow, we always struggle with that when we were doing games back then. But these days, they're actually, you know, the engines are so powerful, you can, that's why you can have characters like this with that many detail. Okay, so I'm just kind of refining her shoulder. Let's see, it comes down here. Then let's see, there's some little details here. It looks like some emblem, right? And then here's the other shoulder back. And here's the other breast. Okay. And now we can go back to the head because, you know, once we have this, then the head is a little bit easier to place. Sometimes you place the head in first and then you realize the body is kind of off. All right, so let's go see a neckline, a chin right around there where the emblem is. Going up this way, measuring slant, try to try to figure out that slant right there. Okay, and how high her hair. So now the reason I'm doing her hair first is because I kind of need to know the size of her head, like her face. So this little earpiece right here, okay, we can do something like that and then we can do the hair now the hair kind of slants down a little bit. And that way I can get the overall size of her head. Okay, so let's see if we go here, from here, trying to measure down. Okay, we do, let's see her hair coming down here, going meets up here. Let's see, let's, try, let's, let's fill in her, her hair first before we do the face, because I kind of want to make sure that we don't draw her face like too big or too small. Okay, earpiece. Comes up like that, comes up like that. All right, so her hair is right here, and then, her, so we can now, let's see, let's do her eyes. So look at, judging at the face, uh, the size of her face, it looks okay, all right, it's not, Okay, her nose. Just trying to divide up her face right now. And then her lip down here. I think my drawing her nose a little bit too big. Let's see. Lip. So do it very lightly, you know. Just placement. Again, this is very anime style, so it needs to be Big eyes, then eyebrow. Okay, so this is the crucial point because uh, it's very light, and I'm just kind of checking the proportions. And I know her nose is a little bit too big. Just okay. Her mouth could be a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up these lines a little bit on her face because it's so delicate right there. Okay, so let's see the cheekbones comes up, slant over here, chin, kind of like that. The chin might be, uh, might not be. I thought it was a little too big. All right, so that's. So now we can step away and check. Let's check it a little bit. All right, I think that looks okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we got, yeah, let me turn it to the side so you can see the whole thing. So kind of roughed in and, you know, things are in place. I know there's a lot of little details in here. Um, well, we can actually do some of it. Comes up. Comes down. Yeah, it's little stuff like that can actually be fairly simple, straightforward. 
So let me let me do the the face a little bit because that's the most important part. Okay, I am I am using a six B. All right, so let me rough in the eyes. Okay, I think that's probably good. good. So it looks like it's very uh, again game art. Not a lot of detail, so I'm gonna actually sketch in a little bit more shading than usual. Probably where you see a little bit more detail, like especially for the eyeballs and things like that. Might as well make it a little bit more, you know, realistic, a little bit more anime, I guess. Okay. Give it a little bit more reflection on the eye, make it a little bit, a little bit more life. And a nose, very simple. It's almost like you see little, two little dots, right? And then just, just kind of give it a real light shade on the bottom. That's it. You know, don't overdo it or else it's going to look really creepy. Then upper lip, I'm always um, brighter than the lower lip. Lower lip and then a little bit of shadowing coming down. Under, underneath the lip, right? So let's see if we're to shade this. This is a little bit darker. Because it's underneath. And then a hair, again, the same kind of flickering motion. We can actually draw in a little bit of outline and then kind of like that. Okay. I mean, it just, you know, it, it, you, you see how I did it? It's not all that accurate, but you know, it's okay, right? And it looks like it's got the headset coming around. We're going to round that out since, um, we're not constrained by poly count. All right. So back of the hair right here is darker. Then we can draw the darker of the hair right here too, but let me do the top first. Highlights here. I'm gonna draw in some of this. So leaving the highlight. And we can always go in, you know, maybe cut in some bigger strands, softening things up a little bit. Top part here, let's make it a little bit darker. This is rolling away. A little bit of hair here. Let's do some here back here. Here. I'm trying to the headset part because the headset part is kind of boring. Okay, here, here, the hair on the bottom here goes over the shoulder. So this part, um, once you make this part, then the face pops out, right? Again, just kind of like flickering motion. So you get a nice taper in. It's nice to get that, you know, with the hair. So let's make this a little bit darker here. Just trying to refine it a little bit before I move on to the body. Here, here. Okay. So I'm gonna make this slightly even darker now that we have the darker hair. Because now, we, now at this point we really can't change the face too much. So. Whatever we have, we have to go with. Just drawing a little bit more eye lines, make it a little bit prettier. Lining the face a little bit. Okay, so yeah, very anime style. Actually, I kind of like this a little bit better. It's a little bit prettier. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna Shade the rest of the body, uh, you know, kind of same style, it's kind of semi-illustrative. And then I'll be right back to show you how it looks.
All right, I'm back, and here's my final drawing for this uh, diva character. Um, so I kind of sh showed everything um, on the speed drawing. After that, I just kind of added a little bit more shadowing because it was it was still really flat, you know, just like the the reference. You know, since it is a game model, so there wasn't a lot of shadowing going on. So just a little bit more detail, uh, a little bit of shadowing, and let me turn it like, turn it sideways like this. Well, actually, yeah. Well, the bottom here, what I want to talk about is, you know, this curve is really important to get this kind of overall shape because it's a very, uh, you know, it's a female character. So you kind of have to get in this nice curve, you know, to make it very feminine and, and you know, a little bit sexy looking. So, you know, let me sh turn it like this so you can get a full shot. Yeah, so, you know, same kind of shading, very hard shading. Uh, try to be quick and sure with the with the shading and keep it simple. You know, don't, don't over shade it, just kind of like, uh, you know, this blue area, whatever, just kind of go over it once or twice or whatever, you know, don't don't go over too much because then you, you're kind of pushing it. And yeah, I mean, you can do that, but then you got to do it all over the, the, the figure because you kind of want to keep it consistent since it is kind of more of like an illustration than uh, than like a realistic realistic drawing. So yeah, I think overall, you know, it's a very, came out to be a very pretty character. You know, it's got a feminine look to it. So it's, yeah, it's a very, very cool character. So I hope you enjoyed this drawing, and if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and uh, give it a shot, see how it goes, and I will see you next time.